That's a good strategy. I like that. My name is John Morris. I'm a Canadian curler. People know me as Johnny Mo. Uh, I went to a few Olympics. We're up here in Churchill, Manitoba. Uh, we're here as part of the Winter Eruption Tour. Uh, a few other Olympians and I came up here. I'm just trying to revive uh, the curling in the community and just engage with a bunch of the, the youth and the locals about uh, the power of sport. Well, sport was huge for me growing up. I learned things about teamwork, uh, you know, achieving goals, uh, making friends, socializing. So that's something that, especially in a community like Churchill, it can be a little bit isolated. It's vital that you have outlets so that you can, you know, find social activities, stay active in the community, and just, you know, get you out of your house when it's minus 20 or minus 30 all winter. My first memory as a kid, curling, was like sliding, not throwing the rocks, but my dad put me on a rock, pushed me down the ice, and like I was twirling around like I was on a little roller coaster. So I think the kids like that more than throwing the rocks, they like to slide down the ice. So that little memory might be the ones that gets them hooked on curling. My husband's a big fan of curling, so we went to bed like looking forward to this. This is our fifth year living here, and uh, this is the first time there's been curling ice, so it's been really exciting. Uh, the boys, uh, their first rocks they've ever thrown was with an Olympian, so it's pretty special. Double Maybe it'll take off now. I've heard a lot of curling is fun today, so hopefully with the adults too. Got to practice now. Lots of practice. At this stage in my career, I'm pretty much done competing at a national level and for Canada, so it really means a lot to be able to give back. You know, if you can make it one or two differences in a few of the youth's life and maybe get them starting a sport that they never would have been able to try, it's, it's all worth it.